And when we go to the West today and see how things are, many governments are approving immorality and legalizing, making it lawful. And when those governments are passing those laws, to legalize those things which the Bible condemns. Many Christians are grieved about it. I hear this many a time. And this is done by the so-called Christian countries. Gay marriages are now almost approved by many states in the United States. Canada has approved it many years ago. United States will have a lot of people who are living in the United States. Christians are great. They're sad. But where is the powerful testimony of Jesus Christ in the midst of so-called Christians? Tell me. They are sad when the law is passed. But why such a thing is happening? Because there is no powerful testimony of Jesus Christ among those who call themselves Christians. If there was a true testimony of Jesus Christ in the midst of the church, then those people will fear in their hearts and think twice before they ever think of a law being passed in Christian countries. The workers of iniquity will fear and tremble if there was a testimony of Christ there. Saints, the church has miserably failed. It is the responsibility, the calling of the church to declare God's righteousness in the earth. I know how much we were persecuted, we are still persecuted, we are still rejected, we are ill-spoken, we are lied about, we are done with many things because we took a strong stand against divorce and remarriage. I want to tell you, I lost many good brothers. They turned against afterwards. It doesn't matter, sins of God. But the truth is this. The church is to declare the righteousness of God in this present world. When Jesus Christ was here upon this earth, He was God's righteous voice in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. 
കർത്താവിന്റെ നീതിയുള്ള ശബ്ദമായിരുന്നു പുത്രൻ യെസ് ഹീ വാസ് എ റൈറ്റ് ഹിസ് വോയിസ് അപ്പോൺ ദിസ് എർത്ത് ഈ ഭൂമിയിൽ നീതിയുള്ള ഒരു ശബ്ദമായിരുന്നു കർത്താവിന്റെ and when he laid down his life on the cross of calvary died for you and me and ascended into the heavens and seated at the right hand of the father he made a provision for us by sending his holy spirit into our lives kartava yesu christu calvary cross il marichu yerthalle da vidavanda valathu bhaga therunna pol ippol namakku vendi thana parishuddha aathmavane ayichu namakku oru vali avan undaaku that we may be a voice a righteous voice of god in the earth ee bhoomil devathinte oru neediyulla shabdam aayirikkunnadana devam oru vali irukku but unfortunately god's people only want to use the holy spirit to meet their own needs devathinte parishuddha aathmane thangalde aavashyangale nedunnadana mathrame illa janam give me the holy spirit lord that i may do what do i want to do angada parishuddha aathmane enikku nalgunnume njan aagrahikkunna kaaryangale cheyyunnadanal by the abiding power of the holy spirit god's desire and longing is that we might be a righteous voice in this earth in these last days avasthigana parishuddha aathmavinte sanidhithal ningal njan ee bhoomil devathinte oru neeyulla shabdamaayi maarnanannaan devathinte aagraham when we turn to the book of john 16 ജോൺ ചാപ്റ്റർ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആൻഡ് വേഴ്സ് എയ്റ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് സംതിങ് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് The Lord Jesus said about the Holy Spirit and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Idha kartavana parishuddha aathmane kurichu parana karyam ana avan vanna paavathe kurichu neediye kurichu nyaya vidhiye kurichu logathana bodham varu. He will prove the world reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. പാപത്തെ കുറിച്ചും നീതിയെ കുറിച്ചും ന്യായ വിധിയെ കുറിച്ചും ലോകത്തിന് ബോധം വരും ഐ വോണ്ട് ടെൽ യു സെയ് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫേക്ക്ഫുൾ ടു ഡു ദാറ്റ് ഈവൻ ടുഡേ ഇഫ് ദർ ആർ ലൈഫ്സ് അവൈലബിൾ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് സെയിം ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഇന്ന് ആ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനെ അത് ചെയ്യുവാൻ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് ഒരുക്കും ബട്ട് ടുഡേ മെനി വോണ്ട് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ദ സേക്ക് ഓഫ് ദ ഗിഫ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദേ കാൻ എൺ എൻ നെയിം ആൻഡ് ദ ഫെയിം ഇൻ ദി എർത്ത് ടുഡേ എന്നാൽ ഇന്ന് അവർ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനെ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിന്റെ വരങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് തങ്ങൾക്ക് വേരും പുകഴ്ചയും ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നതിനായിട്ടാണ് ബട്ട് ദ ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് വെൻ ഹി കംസ് നാൽ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് വരും ഹി വിൽ റിപ്രൂവ് ദ വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് സിൻ ലോകത്തെ അവൻ നീതിയെ ഭാവ is the holy spirit going to do this work how is the holy spirit going to reprove the world of sin he is going to do that through his church which is the vessel and vehicle of the holy spirit hallelujah god is going to convict the world of sin through your life in your office where you work in the locality where you live your life as you give and give yourself to the holy spirit will convict your colleagues of sin devathinte parishuddha aathmavane ningale elpichu kodu hallelujah joli cheyna salathe ningal joli cheyumbol ningalde sahapravartharude paavathe kurichu avarku bodham varuthu ningal thamasikkunna salathe ningal angane aayirikkumbol ayilvasigalude paavathe kurichu they will be convicted of sin paavathe kurichu avarku bodham varum god's righteousness devathina neediye kurichu avarku bodham varu not because you are going to talk something but because you are living god's righteousness holy spirit now has a vessel through you to reflect to the world what is god's righteousness devathinte parishuddha aathmane ningal vasikkunna hallelujah neediye ningal ullathu kondu devathinte parishuddha aathmane neediye kurichu logathina bodham varu convict the world of sin 
and righteousness and judgments of God. I want to tell you saints, the Holy Spirit has not given up this ministry. God is faithful. The Holy Spirit is faithful to do that even today. We are that vehicle, that instrument, that vessel that should be available for the Holy Spirit to do that work today in these end times on this earth. But what a tragedy. But remember, God has not changed His program. God has not changed His program. God will have His church. God will have His church as the standard of His righteousness. Saints of God. The Apostle Paul, while writing to the Corinthians, he says, Know ye not ye are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and that Spirit of God dwelleth in you. You are and I am the temple. Where the Holy Spirit dwells. Where he would like to live. Where he would like to live. The place where he wants to live. And where he wants to speak. Where he wants to perform what he wants to perform. Wherein he wants to establish his righteousness, ye are the temple of our lives. That's where he wants to establish his righteousness first. He wants to establish his judgments in the in our lives first. Dear brothers and sisters, that is what the body of Christ is all about. That is what the church is all about. Individually and collectively, are people who would allow the Holy Spirit to convict the world of sin, righteousness and God's judgments. Saints, I will stop here now. And all that I can say is, may we be open to God. Let us not have defenses. In our a man who justifies, a woman who justifies herself and himself can never grow and overcome in Christ. The most important thing of an overcomer, the one who grows is willing to accept his mistakes and repent and turn to God. That is the step to go and victory. May God help us this morning. Shall we all stand up in His presence? Let's be available to that same Holy Ghost that He sent into this world to convict of sin, righteousness, and His judgments. May God help us that we may experience His work in our own lives today. That we may become His measuring rod of His righteousness and judgment in the earth in this end times. Let us examine our own worship, our life, our commitments to the Lord.
നമ്മുടെ സമർപ്പണമൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് ശോധിക്കാം Thank you Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. We have heard several counsels of God. His word has come to us as a water that would wash and cleanse our lives. നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതങ്ങൾ ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കുന്ന ജലമായിട്ട് ദൈവവചനം നമ്മുടെ അടുക്കിലേക്ക് വന്നു അനേകം വിലയേറിയ ആലോചനകൾ നാം കേട്ടു താങ്ക് യു ജീസസ് Thank you Jesus. What have you heard from the Lord today? Kathavingal ningal endana kattu? What the Holy Spirit has convicted you of today? Inna varishuddha atma vendine kurichu ningalku bodham varikku. Thank you Lord. Let's be available to the Holy Spirit. Devathana parishuddha atma avana namme lebhyam. Our gatherings. Namme kooli varavu. Our local church. Namme sthaniya sabhya namme kooli varavu. What are our preparations? Namme ore kangal. May God help us. I will request Brother Raja Martin then to come.
Reality. 